but the, the thing that gives me, I would say, hope, not, not, not just because we know that, you know, uh, Jesus has overcome the world and all these different things and we're going to go home and all that is great, but that um, as the world continues to get darker, um, the light will continue to get brighter. And so um, what, what I'm hoping is that during these times, and even with the book, that more people will adopt the message, more people will stand for what they believe in, but stand in love. And, and, I, and I know that's going to win people. We, I, don't, I don't know if we can win everybody, um, but we can start with one and continue to grow. And, you know, the, 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 the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And so, um, so yeah, it, it's, it's definitely unfortunate, you know, hearing headline after headline and just all of the craziness that's going around in the world, it's, it's, it's disheartening. Um, but at the same time, I do have a, a, a kind of a hope inside of me that's like, you know, continue to push, continue to be vigilant, continue to um, encourage the people around me and the young people that are that are listening to this message. And, and we'll see what God does with it. 